Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome to this glorious episode of Press Start TV. Uh, happy holidays. I'm sure many of you have already had a wonderful Christmas. Um, or whatever you celebrate. Or whatever it is that you celebrate. Uh, once again, happy holidays. <laughs> anyway, um, we've got so much to go with you today, as always. We'll get into some news. Um, we'll go into some games of the year from Mr. James here, and we'll talk some Star Wars at the end of this We're gonna episode. We're going to spoil the whole thing. Uh, we exactly. will never get ready. That. All right, so uh, again, my name is Will. This is Nine. Yep. And joining us today for the first time is Mr. James. How's it going? James will be with us for a while. We're going to go over some awesome stuff. So James, welcome. Thank you. Glad uh, to be here. All right, let's talk about some stuff. Uh, Kojima. <laughs> Koj okay. So Every time we talk about Kojima or Konami, I just giggle because it's such a mess. You know, something happened. We still don't know what happened. Nobody does. I don't think we ever will, either. James, do you follow any of this? So, so Kojima and Konami seems to be in disarray It, it plays sorts. out like a mystery novel, basically. You know? It's almost like Clue. Yeah, it is. Who did it it's and where did it happen? Yeah, and where is Kojima? Like, yeah. yeah. I, I saw a bunch of things on the internet where it was like, uh, did you see that, the birthday party or the party that they threw from whatever? The farewell party that yeah. Konami's calling it when mm -hmm. really it was Kojima leaving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. They And they've, you know, as a company, they've said that they're going to focus on mobile gaming. They've come back and said that they're going to, they're going to abandon console gaming. Then they came back and said, no, we're definitely not going to do no, that. They were going to abandon AAA titles. AAA titles. Except for Pez. Which, <laughs> well, all right. well anyway, yeah. so, so anyway, <laughs> uh, so they are a mess. They, they, they are a mess. And now uh, Kojima leaves, and, and there was this weird thing with the Game Awards and him. Yeah, he was banned. His lawyers <laughs> told him that it would be in his best interest not to attend. So we, we don't know what the real deal is. So Kojima, anyway. the eternal rock star, basically, getting banned from his uh, own show. He, yeah, he exactly. Exits, he exits Konami, who he's been with for I don't know how many years now, a long uh, since time. Since the first Metal Gear. I mean, a long time. Yeah. Pretty much the history of gaming. And then, yeah. but yeah. now he's got a new home. Oh. Sony. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> His first, he, he is making Kojima Productions a thing. Um, his first partnership is as with, with Sony. Sony. Gotcha. So his first game is. Exclusive. So he is his own entity. Yeah, he is. He took Kojima Productions pretty much with, with him, which is why the LA studios for Konami shut down. Mm. Okay. So that that explains that he's got his own company now and he can do whatever he wants. Good, good for him. I, you know, except Metal Gear, he can't do Metal Gear. Well, oh, sure, which is know. a tragedy in itself. Yeah. That is a little that bit. That is though. a bit of a tragedy. It, it's, it's mainly a tragedy for me if they actually go through and make games without him. You know, future Metal Gear yeah. games like that would just like just leave it the way it is. Yeah. Mm. So so uh, we expect great things. We'll see what happens. Um, you know, hopefully that now that he's partnered with Sony, uh, I know one of the first things we said is hopefully they can bring back some good survival horror games to yes. the Sony platform. So we'll uh, see what happens. Real quick. Too. Terrific. He tweeted out that he's very interested in doing games with Guillermo del Toro. Oh, oh that makes me so happy. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh. Ah. All right. Um, by the way, <laughs> you're, watching, you're watching. You're watching and listening to Press Start TV. I'm Will. This is James. This is Nine. Yep. Uh, ColecoVision. Yes, <laughs> you heard that correctly. ColecoVision is making a new console. That's pretty exciting. Not, <laughs> not just any new console. A cartridge-based console. A cartridge-based classic console. Mm. So, uh, do from, you, from I don't know a whole lot about this. All the, read, just the headline. It's, it's almost like their take on the Retron. Okay. It will play classic games built on their cartridges. And it will also play new releases in 8, 16, 32-bit style gameplay. Each game will come with a plastic clamshell. What do you mean new release? They're going to make, They're new, gonna game. make, make new, new games. They're going to make new titles, which is the most exciting which for is me, awesome. I think. awesome. Because I think right now all of gaming is kind of wrapped up in a lot of nostalgia. That's why backwards compatibility and everything is even, you know. Rare replay is, for the Xbox One. Is well, lauded. And, and I say technology. They're wrapped up in technology. So mm -hmm. the fact that they're not going to go out and try to compete with these guys, yeah. it's kind of a smart move. Almost. Awesome. And, and yeah. to make like retro style games and make new ones because I'm still well, a big fan of that style of play. And think about all these indie games that are making all these classic looking games like um, Minecraft. 
looks I mean, like an older game. Mindlessly addictive. You know? <laughs> you know <laughs> okay, like, yeah. yeah. You can get games like La Moana X on the Vita, which is like a 16-bit Even the music crawler, in Minecraft, is, I feel like I'm cool. being tranced. So. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So, mm. you know, and those games, you know, Minecraft is the ultimate example of all Action things. Verge is Beca another great oh, example. I mean, that's just a fantastic game. Yeah. Mm. And, and, you know, again, Minecraft, look at it now. It's getting this movie. It's, it's got to continue. It's just it's got a telltale game. It's got a telltale, telltale game. game. Yeah. Massively wildly successful. That's ridiculous. Successful. Have you played that at all? Or like, see, I have not had him? a yeah. chance to play it yet. But, uh, yeah, ColecoVision, making a new console, a cartridge-based console, where they'll produce newer games and, of course, all the, the fan favorites yeah, from produce classics. years and years ago. Pre excuse me, pretty excited to see what happens with that. Um, uh, in other news, the Division Alpha <laughs> was leaked. Now, many of you have been very excited about this game, like us. Uh, you know, th this game's been in production for a while. There's been hit or miss, you know, overanalyzed, all that kind of stuff. But what do we know about the Alpha? What was actually seen? Leaked gameplay footage. Did you see it? Yep. I've seen bits and pieces of it, yeah. Thoughts? Still pretty. <laughs> yeah, it still it still looks great. Yeah, uh, the the character models that they showed, great. The environments, the kind of just like that, that. From what I saw, they were just wandering around, you know, gathering different things up. Um, I didn't watch enough of it to actually get to see a lot of battle, but we did see that in earlier trailers. Yeah, they've shown right. the battle and the combat system like so it was, several it was, times. It was interesting to see the inventory kind of things. He's walking right. around like you see the you actually like a little hologram packs up on your backpack. Mm -hmm. You know that kind of like uh, seamlessness. I like it. It looks very streamlined. Yeah. Looks very playable. I dig it. Do we know? Is it is it just a is a single player campaign online component? Uh, it, it, I'm pretty sure it's it. all online. It, it's strictly online. Yeah. It's definitely like an MMO style game. Okay. Mm. Um, it's survival of the fittest. All you right. Know, that kind of thing. Cool. Well, we look forward to seeing more of that. We'll have more for you and get James's picks for games of the year right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. So in previous episodes, uh, now that's the end of the year, Nine and, Nine and I have, you already know our picks for what we've picked for games of the year in all kinds of different categories, the best RPG, best sports, uh, family games, racing games, sports games, indie games, so forth and so on. But since Mr. James here is joining us for the first time and it's the end of the year, we're going to give you a chance to go over your picks. I can still for get it in. What do you think? So let's start off with um, best sports game in 2015. What do you think? Uh, okay, so uh, this may come as a shock, but I'm not like a huge uh, sports gamer. My wife is much better at Madden than I. Uh, so what <laughs> I really awesome. liked was uh, Rocket League. Uh, yes! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh! It was, it That's was, what I picked. It's it's cla oh. it's it's like the classic like like I love Twisted Metal growing up. Oh, I even sure, love yeah. I even love Vigilante Eight. You know, mm -hmm. Vigilante uh, Eight. I love yeah, Vigilante Eight was awesome. Crazy. I had the Sweet Tooth trucks in there too. So yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Yeah, and uh, just you know, blending that with a sports game. I've always been a fan of physics-based gaming, anyway, because you know anything can basically happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I love when a really game can come out like that. It's simple, easy to play, Low just a general thing, the and they're just amazing. The, the fact that it's even among the sports titles for Game of the Year in yeah. any it, categories it's, is, it's is it's great. It's an accomplishment of itself. Ridiculous. Okay, indeed. Uh, uh, a great pick. Uh, best family game. Um. I'm usually a fan of the, the Lego games. I, I did enjoy Lego Marvel, but I'd actually have to go with, uh, I like Infinity. Uh, I, I see that bringing a lot of families together, so, you know, in the interest of a family game, I feel like that's probably, like, the main component I would judge it on. Solid and pick. you give that, you get, like, a toy box, box aspect, so mm -hmm. you have that kind of Minecraft element. We can build anything, or we can just jam out in it, and, uh, you know, Of course, Star they Wars, have all the Star you know, Wars, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, like, yeah, it's all on, on everybody's Wars. mind. <laughs> I don't know anybody that didn't see the Infinity trailers with the Star Wars, and was like, you know, a lot of people I know that weren't even avid gamers were just like, that looks cool. I hear there's a really interesting thing that happens at the end of that uh, from the Star Wars side. Mm. I don't know exactly. The end of this. Yeah, I don't want to say it. The campaign? Yeah. Oh, it's I haven't a, heard it's anything about that yet. Pretty interesting. Mm. If you've already beaten it, keep it to yourself. You know. Keep it to yourself. If not, <laughs> go beat it. Yeah. Uh, best racing game. Best racing game. Um. Even if I don't have an Xbox, Forza, I do like Forza. That seems to be a popular. Yeah, thing. that's what we picked as well. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was hard to deny. There were some. I mean, Project Cars was an interesting title. Um, 
You know, there's some other good games in there. I don't Project know. Cars had a lot of ambition. Yeah. Yeah. Huge uh, ambition. You know, so so some good competitors out there. Need for Speed. Forza um, just delivers. You know what I mean? I wouldn't mean? say Need for Speed was a good competitor this year. <laughs> you know, it's okay. It felt pretty hard. <laughs> and that's year. and that's it's the, not that. It, it's definitely it's good. But it's very quirky. It's in your face. It's yeah, very I'm, a, I'm a big Need for Speed guy too. Those have always been my favorite racing games. But in the last couple years, it, it kind of has gotten to that that point where it just feels like they're cranking them out. You know. Um, and, and Forza, I mean, uh, fun 400 and some odd yeah. cars looks great, plays great, good yeah. for Microsoft. Like I said, that game. delivers. Um, best fighting game. Right. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I have to note. Smash Brothers because I love Smash Brothers. I think especially uh, this release was uh, it's the the most diverse. Like you can do so many things. Like it brings so many different elements of different fighting games. Right. Huge package, right? Now having said that, uh, I got to go with Mortal Kombat. Uh, just uh, it's just always been my type of game. Also, it's you know straight up one on one. Always always been more of my my forte. I just don't think you can throw Smash into the... Well, technically, Smash is not a fighter. It's, it's a, a brawler. Yeah, brawler, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, so yeah, I, I have to go with uh, Mortal Kombat, and really I don't think we've seen a lot of... Other There's a good... couple of no name, not no name, but lesser known yeah. titles. Guilty Gear had a game come out this sure. year. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like Guilty Gear. But yeah, more combat. Great. Only ones. Um, so we're rolling through James's picks for best games of the year. Um, again, my name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is James. All right, so we've gone over RPG. Are we doing RPG? You didn't no, do we didn't best do RPG. RPG. Uh, for that, I, I do have to go with uh, Witcher Three. I I mean, or one of the core elements of RPG for me is the story, and that was yeah. definitely definitely on point with The Witcher. Uh, very Let me ask immersive. you a question. Yeah. Did you beat The Witcher? Yes. Wow! Yeah. 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 Not a single person that has finished yeah. The Witcher yet. I made um, the mistake of starting it on Death March, and that's why I have not finished it. <laughs> yeah, I, I tend to do that in games. I'll, I'll go with the hardest difficulty, and then I'll be like, I'm never going to beat this time to start over. I and usually do, but Death yeah. March was a mistake. <laughs> uh, the, the game that punished me the most, off topic a little bit, was uh, I, I was on a roll with that. I was just like, every game I got, I was putting out the hardest difficulty. Dead Space shut me down. Oh, I was, really? Yeah, yeah. I, t I put like the. I think it was the first Dead Space that came out, and it was just like, oh, I have three bullets left, and That's there's the like six necromorphs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To yeah. That. yeah. Okay. Uh, best DLC. Hmm. You know, that's I never usually get around to DLC. That's okay. On much on any much of any game. Um, now, why don't you pick on that? I don't remember, but I'm gonna switch it to the old Hunters DLC now that I have it. <laughs> yeah. Because it's just phenomenal and it brings so much more life to Bloodborne for me. And I've been I've been meaning to get my hands on that and so I'm I'm pretty excited about that one too. I'm also excited, you know, just for future stuff. I'm excited to see what happens with Battlefront, to see what heroes we get out of that. They, um, they can really I mean, I, it, that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all let's right, not let's, let's move on. Best Battle. indie game. Best indie game, uh, hmm. You can say the same game twice, just so you know. Uh, for for me, uh, it was actually uh, it actually hasn't came out yet, so I don't know if you can count it. But Darkest Dungeon for me was like the one I've, I've spent the most time yeah, it's with. January. Yeah, it's yeah. In, uh, you're in the wrong year. Thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> it's like three weeks. Rocket away. League. I mean, yeah, I definitely See? have to go with See? it. I mean, just fine to to get to uh, <laughs> the <laughs> grand scale. <laughs> yeah. So proud. It is. It's a great game, man. Oh, it I'm is. I'm good at these things, man. Yeah. No, it is. I, I don't want to take anything. They are. It is amazing. That's what you picked too, anyway. All right. So <laughs> it's the big. Like, but I wanted diversity. Big big question. Your pick of 2015's game of the year. So uh, I, I know that in a, a lot of larger places. Uh, Witcher got that too, but for me, uh, it would have to be Fallout, uh, and not just for my personal experience, just for everyone I've ever talked to about Fallout. It's just it's touched That's, so many people, man. They love yeah. it, even people that I would never expect to pick up that game. Yeah, are I mean, well said. So there you have it, James yeah. picks for Games of the Year. We'll be back right after this with Star Wars. Oh. Woohoo! Welcome back, Press Start TV. Uh, listen, uh, we're going to talk about Star Wars. Star Wars. Star we're gonna, Wars. We're going to do our very Star best. Wars. Again, my name's Will. This is Nine. This Yo. is James. Oi. So, first of all, you don't have to turn the, the station or press pause or get out or anything. We're not going to spoil anything 
for those of you who have not seen the movie yet. Like um, me. But I w James yeah. hasn't even seen the yeah. movie yet. I'm so. with that demographic. I've been working too much. Now, Nine and I have seen it. So some of the things that, and, and Nine, what's your take on it, first of all? Just general impression. It was way better than I expected it to be, but I went in as a skeptic, not expecting much. You literally said you didn't want to even see I it. I really did. I really did weekend. not even want to see this movie. You're glad you did that. I, I'm glad I did. It was it was a good experience. It's uh, far better than I, it says one, two, and three. I totally agree. I thought it was fantastic. I've seen it twice. It's amazing. Um, I thought they did a really good job with it. Everything was on point for me, um, and I can't wait. You can to tell see. that the people making this movie were dedicated to the fans and not to well the money. <laughs> the one article I read was he knew what to do and what to stay away from. Jar Jar Banks and midichlorians. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he, he distanced himself very early. So yeah. so and he does. He, 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 he did. He did more Darth Maul. <laughs> yeah, sure. So sure. could everything, yeah, basically. The only character, I think, to ever kill Liam Neeson in any universe. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> Yeah. True. yeah. And, and, and the best thing that came out of episode one, by far, was Darth Maul, I mm. think. Oh, yeah. That whole, uh, that whole thing was awesome. Yeah. Um, but so let's talk about some of the numbers uh, from the opening weekend so far. Now, <laughs> as, as we're doing this, uh, this is the Sunday that the movie has come out, so Final numbers haven't come in, but so far this is what we've got. It has smashed domestic records mm. uh, of yep. 238 million. Soared past Jurassic Park. Just dwarfed like, it. Hey, how yeah. you doing? Yeah. Bye. It's insane. Now, I mean, Jurassic Park, a beloved franchise, whatever, but people have been watching Star Wars movies since the 70s, right? I yeah. Mean, yeah. Jurassic Park only since the 90s. Uh, it spans generations. That's, that's something I love about Star Wars is it's another one of those things that, you know, the entire family enjoys. And I love talking to, like, older people. Like, I, I hang out at the bar with this, like, six-year-old dude who can tell me about, like, when Star Wars released and how big of a deal yeah. it was. So, so yeah. that guy, his kids, yeah. the grandkids, mm -hmm. they're Maybe all going. great grandkids. Maybe. <laughs> sure. Um, when he saw the trailer, actually, we were at the bar, because, you know, they released the, uh, the one that was during the football game, and, like, during the trailer, he just leans in, and he goes, where's, where's Billy D at? <laughs> where's Lando at? Where's... And then, and then uh, question, Finn popped actually. up, and he's like, is that his kid? Yeah. yeah. A very good question. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, 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 it lends itself to the, the story continuing, so we'll, we'll see what happens, but... Um, so 238 million in the U.S. weekend uh, wide was 517. Uh, yeah. Once again, that's so far the weekend's not over yet, so we'll see where the final numbers come up. But the opening day also um, a new record: yeah. 57 million just mm. on just Thursday, which wasn't really even its that's first. That's not even technically the release date. <laughs> yeah, and I mean that was sold out everywhere. You know what yeah. I mean? Everywhere. Like, yeah, it was impossible. People were selling to find tickets, tickets for thousands of dollars for that show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another thing, um, you know, we, we work with one of the movie theaters to do events. We actually did a great Star Wars event there. But it was fantastic. But one of the things that um, they were telling me was uh, they were getting phone calls saying, hey, just so you know, we're going to be camping out outside of your theater. <laughs> and they showed up at like 2 in the morning. Yeah. Wow. Like, what? don't mind us. We're going to be there. We <laughs> want to be the first people in the theater. Leave your comments in, in the sections below. Name one other movie that's going to motivate someone to go do that. Name Whatever the next Star Wars movie is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Star Wars. I mean, uh, just from like... Uh, Titanic 2. I like, asked that question to the girl sitting beside me. You know what she said? <laughs> Twilight. Oh, gross. <laughs> no, no. Uh, gross. Uh, the, the thing is, is, is that uh, I'm, I'm actually, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, cosplay, but you never usually see cosplay in movies, and, and rightfully so, like, at the movies, because rightfully so, you're there to watch the, the movie and right. stuff, but Star Wars is the one that, like, people dress up as Jedi oh, and Sith, like, the time. every yeah. time, yeah. People rolling around in a little r 2 I saw a whole family of, like, stormtroopers and Leia and a Boba Fett. Did you yeah. see yeah. them awesome. come out? It was awesome. <laughs> We're talking about Star Wars. I mean, what a massive movie. If you haven't seen it, go see it. If those of you who have seen it, join in the conversation. I mean, so, uh, I mean, I know you're excited about it. I know you've been yeah. following along. I mean, how are your expectations here? Are okay, you just so, yeah. kind of taking it I, as it is? Or what's I going wanted on? to, yeah, come in on that. Uh, so with the gross sales and everything, I expected it to bust records, man. Like, I, I, I know, like, every, every movie site was basically 
getting shut down because they couldn't handle the load of the pre-order tickets that night yeah, yeah. that that trailer aired. Um, but as you guys, I, I know Nine said he did, I don't know about you, Will, but uh, going in with the expectations, I, I, I'm going to be skeptical just because that's the mindset I prefer. You yeah. know? Um, but every single person I've talked to who was safe for one person uh, who I had to stop from spoiling it for me has told me they loved it. That person yeah. said I'd be disappointed for some unknown reason that I would not allow them to you tell You know, me. I'll say that they they toy with your emotions they they make you sad they make you happy and uh, it's, it's a so it's bad. a good it's so jj abrams is a sith lord is well it's part of yeah. the it's part of the experience i mean you yeah. know what you're getting into because you know the universe right yeah. you know yeah. the world and, that is star wars and they did it and to me it felt just like watching new hope for the first time yeah they left so many unanswered questions that you just can't wait to see the next episode which may, it actually that reason alone made me want to see the movie again like because i, I wanted I want to go back to, and listen to that dialogue like yep. who are they talking about look, what is look that for those hidden things. yeah and yeah. there's a certain scene that i'm still not completely convinced on which you and i can discuss later okay mm. <laughs> i'll put my earmuffs on <laughs> yeah well we'll see what happens i mean obviously uh it, it is the movie of the moments and of the year of course oh yeah i just hope it beats all the records i mean i didn't want i never wanted titanic to be the best-selling movie of all no. time i'm sorry or james avatar. cameron avatar. Or avatar. not as good as people made it out to be <laughs> also yeah. james cameron uh, but yeah. yeah and then no i didn't ever i <laughs> forgot that yeah uh, but no. but anyway that's all the time we have for you today we'll see what happens uh, uh, thank you so much for joining us on Press Start TV. You can check us out on PressStartTV.com. My name's Will, Nine, James.